Howdy all, this is Shane and we're here to change the Telecaster control plate. This thin bit here, we're going to swap it over to a Rock Rabbit guitar one. This is an angled one, cut lefty, just for me, so that was pretty cool. So a big thanks to Rock Rabbit Guitars for sending this out, I really appreciate it. You can check them out at rockrabbitguitars.com. It's a titanium plate, it's super light, and yeah, what can I say, it's really cool. They also sent me out the plate for the back of the neck as well, but right now I'm not gonna put that on. I'm just gonna change this over. And being that this 1952 Rishi Telecaster has already been modded with stainless steel frets, Joe Varden pickups, I thought, why not? I'm gonna chuck it in this guitar. I actually spilt some super glue or crazy glue, whatever it's called in the US, on this plate. So it's, uh, it's good timing. It's good timing. I'm gonna uh, see if I can actually get this off now that I've glued that on. So here we go. Hey, that was easy. So I've already unscrewed this thing. Looks relatively simple. I'm just gonna have to somehow take off these controls. And then, uh, yeah, it should sort of unscrew nice and simple. I'm not too worried about scratching this thing up, this old one. I've, uh, this guitar's got plenty of marks on it now, and it's part of its cool look, I guess. It's naturally relicked over the years. Yeah, I never really thought about looking for a different plate for this thing. I just sort of put up with it. And there's been times where I were kind of, I was kind of like, you know what? If they made an angled one, I'd probably buy one at some point. It's just one of those things that I always sort of just put off doing. So it was great timing. And yeah, these guys, they sell some really cool stuff. All right. I don't want to move too much of this. Just want to put it straight back on. So I guess this guy is going to be the. There we go. So as you can see now, it's going to be angled. So less chance of me kind of knocking it out of place by accident, maybe. Tension sort of feels better, but I have been playing my Squire a lot, so maybe the uh, maybe the jacks on this, the uh, switch on this one's just better inherently. And you know what? I'm gonna super glue the um, control back on here because those things are really, really easy to lose. But before I do that, let's get this guy back on sure it all it's all good I always think like if you have to force any of this stuff in then it's not right so keep moving stuff around it's like the simplest mod you could do if you bugger this up then I guess you know keep impatient <laughs> There's not a lot that can really go wrong unless you slip and scratch your guitar. But like I said, this thing's got marks all over it now. I've been using it for years. It doesn't really bother me too much. All right. Everything feels like it's in place. Now it came with some new screws. I might put them on instead. Let me have a look here. You know what, they look, they look pretty much the same. They look a little bit nicer. Yeah, they're just not rusted. That's the only thing. So I'll put them in. Might look a little new, but it doesn't matter. Here we go. Little screwdriver. There's the old plate right there. 
that's the underside of it so that would be the the bit that's actually touching the guitar as you can see it's got crap all over it and a lot of that stuff um, some of that was glue residue uh, man yeah anyway it's a long story but I cleaned up the guitar pretty well but yeah anyway so the other side's still fine I'm gonna keep this This is not something that I'm gonna throw out and there's no real reason for me to do this other than I really like the idea of having that angled I think that's really cool I'll change camera views in a moment so you can really see what I'm talking about So as you can see, this is a straight line, obviously, as is this, and I'm sort of positioned right behind here in a straight line, judging by my viewfinder. So you can see that that is diagonal now, rather than straight across. Yeah, it's a really cool idea. I'd like to thank Rock Rabbit Guitars for sending this out and letting me check it out. If you want to check them out online, go to rockrabbitguitars.com. They're based in Indiana, in the United States, not India. So. <laughs> Yeah, they got lots of great stuff and a huge thanks for, to the guys for sending these out and um, yeah, I may put this on at some point as well, but not right now. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions or other mods that you have done to your Telecaster that you might think I am interested in, please let me know and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. See ya.